So, what we're going to do is trace this problem on the right here. We're going to start off just the same way we do everything, which is just go line by line and write out each step. So, here we're saying A is equal to 1 to 3 on top of 4 to 6 on top of 7 to 9. And we saw one exactly like this, so really quickly we know exactly what this is going to look like. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? And now we see that B is equal to negative A. And by saying negative A, what we're doing is just negating A, adding a negative sign in front of everything, just to be pretty self-explanatory. B is going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, okay? And now what we're going to do is uh, do some <coughs> changing of A by indexing into certain locations in A and in B. So the first thing that we do is say that A of 1, 1 is equal to A of 1, 3. Okay? So we're going to change, let's change this A right here. So A of 1, 1, which is this element right here, is equal to A of 1, 3, which is this element here. So we're going to assign this element to 3, okay? Now we have A of 2, 3 is equal to B of 3, 2. A of 2, 3 is this. B of 3, 2 is this, which means that this element now becomes negative 8. And now A of 2, 2, which is this element here, now becomes what A of 1, 1 is, which is this element here. And we have this. And this is our final picture. Okay, questions about this, and then we'll take a break. Okay, everyone's around to take a break. Let's take a break. All right, so be back here in 15 minutes. Yeah, I want to